Hey, I'm back with more strange tunings on the Lumitone keyboard. Can you guess which one this is? It sounds a little bit like uh, uh, 12 EDO, but not if you play <laughs> chords. It's actually 13 EDO. And I call this a die cot layout. It's not really good die cot because that's not a good major triad, but I can't think of any other thing to call it. But this is the basic scale for that. And uh, it seems to be a pretty good way of mapping uh, 13 EO, you know, you've got your uh, your minor, your sub minor triad, whatever you, you know, the kind of major triad. Um, but this is also 13 EDO, it, it's mapped differently. So the question is, how do you decide uh, which one, this one or that one, is the better keyboard layout? How you know, of all the different options that you have, um, how can you choose um, how to map uh, the keys for for different tunings? And the answer is. It really depends, you know, whichever one works best for whatever music you're doing. I mean, this one obviously has uh, more octaves. It even goes beyond the piano range up there. Um, and uh, this one is a little bit closer to your standard uh, uh, octave range. Uh, maybe a little uh, maybe some be better for some other things. Uh, for example, you know, that's the 8, 11, 13. If you want to use that triad in your 13 EDO. Um, so it, it really depends on and, uh, how, how are you going to uh, name all of these different kinds of keyboard layouts. Uh, you know, I think there's a couple of different things. I, I would, uh, I could uh, say, you know, this is like one, two, three, four steps of one size and one step of another size. So I could call this a, a four plus one keyboard, uh, four steps of one size and one step of another size. Um, that's one way to do it. Another, another way is to call this a one fifth. This is what, uh, or Wilson does um, the uh, it's a five step octave or uh, period, and then the generator, uh, the the step that's repeated um, to get the uh, all the other notes of the scale is one fifth of that. Uh, so you know your standard uh, uh, layout. Uh, like on a, a, a standard keyboard is um, a four sevenths uh, keyboard according to Wilson's uh, terminology because the generator is the fourth note uh, in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, the octave, uh, the period is that, that final seventh, numbering the first one at zero. Uh, so I could call that a five plus two, or I could call that a, a four sevenths keyboard, and this is uh, this is my uh, twenty three EDO layout, which uh, looks similar to the twenty six EDO layout. You know, it's got the same um, pattern, but the details are are different. And then you have, of course, the thirty one. EDO layout is also very similar. Uh, but here, here's some of the, the other uh, layouts that I've got. 
Let me get a closer view so that you can see the keyboard better. This is the first 13 EDO layout. And then the other 13 EDO. And um, this was the uh, 15 EDO that I showed you before, the 15 EDO Hanson layout. And this is a 17 EDO die cut. Then you got the 23 EDO, the, the one that I, I uh, showed before, the uh, the, the Mavilla. And of course the 26 EDO Mean Tone. The 31 EDO Mean Tone. Now I'm starting to uh, go beyond uh, uh, the EDOs and uh, go into uh, regular temperaments. Um, this one is Porcupine 22. And it's hard to figure out a good way uh, to map uh, Porcupine uh, to the keyboard because the generator of Porcupine is basically a step, so I had to... So it folds around if you play this scale. And kind of unfortunate thing about that is like the major triad is. Um, it's not too bad, but you know, it takes some getting used to. But you can see how skewed that is. So, uh, you know, Porcupine is not especially good fit for this kind of layout, but it works. You, know, you can do Porcupine 22, you could even do a larger subset of it. If you want to do, uh, it probably goes up to, I don't know if you could get up to a 37, but you could certainly get 29. Um, this is a Triforce, and uh, Triforce 24, which I've uh, never really uh, used before because Triforce 15 is about as many notes as uh, I can get on a, a standard keyboard. So, uh, so this is a basic nine note Triforce scale. Um, and, uh, you know, you get, uh, uh, so I've always used uh, just the 15. But now I get the full 24 notes, and you can even get more, you know. So that's a little bit of what I've been up to this week. The first week of trying to learn how to use the Lumitone keyboard, mapping different tunings, and uh, trying to figure out the, the most effective or best way to, to map the, the keys. And uh, one of the things that I found is most effective is just to look at the structure of the scale and to see where the generator is. And so for, for instance, this uh, Hansen temperament or this Keeman has the minor thirds. And so uh, the minor third is the generator. You know, you want to use a, a two sevenths or a five sevenths in this case. Uh, because a two sevenths would be a mirror image of that, and it would be slatted more. Um, I would all I could also call it a four plus three because it's one two three four this way, and three that way. Um, but I think in the future I'll I'll uh, focus more on individual temperaments like this uh, per video, and not try to go over a whole bunch of different ones, and maybe provide some more musical examples. But for now, I'm just trying to play around with it and, and see what I can do. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video and uh, hope to make more of these in the in the future.